Uh, hi guys, um, it is May 22nd. Thanks for joining us uh, for the show today. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Nash FM's Deidre Ransdale. Thanks for being here. Absolutely, Appreciate wouldn't be you. anywhere else. Um, so, in case you're not hip to social media and you haven't seen it yet, um, uh, it's a really tough day here at LEX 18 and um, I've been told I need to read this uh, little prepared statement. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I'll just talk to you from my heart. So, okay. <clears throat> okay, um, there has been a change at LEX 18 that we would like you to know about. Lee Cruz, who has been co-host of Live with Lee and Haley, is no longer with the station. Management made the decision to part ways with Lee effective today, following an inappropriate comment made on this program earlier this month. LEX 18 general manager Pat Dalby released this statement saying, quote, this wasn't a decision we made lightly. LEX 18 is committed to reflecting our diverse audiences through our coverage and to uphold equitable, diverse, and inclusive practices in our workplace. We stand by our commitment to a respectful work environment and respect for all of our viewers, end quote. Lee has been a big part of this station and part of LEX 18 and made it what it is for more than 20 years. He has been my partner in creating this show and we wish Lee the absolute best of luck. I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna try not to snot everywhere. That one was for <laughs> you, Lee. Um, so yes, Lee is no longer employed at LEX 18 as of today. As you know, he was on leave this week. He was suspended. Uh, so the station, I'm still reading, I'm not saying this. Um, so the station could investigate facts surrounding the offensive comment. The, um, Pat Dalby, our general manager, spoke to myself and our producer, Catherine Shepard, this morning before he notified the rest of the station um, just minutes later and presented that statement that I just read. Um, yeah, a lot of you know this. <laughs> Lee hates it, but a lot of people, when they come up to us in public, Deidre, they always say, Lee, I've, I've been watching you since I was a kid. <laughs> and he would always be like, oh, dang it, I'm, I'm so old. <laughs> but you have been watching him since he was a kid. And he is the, if not the most, one of the most recognizable faces of LEX 18. You know, you hear, oh, you hear Bill Mack, you hear Nancy Cox, you hear Lee Cruz. Those are the three people I hear most often when I'm in public. I love LEX 18. You tell Bill I said hi. I tell Nancy I said hi. I tell Lee I said hi. The Lee is crazy. That's what they usually end it with. Um, I've known Lee since I started here almost five years ago now, and from the get-go, he could not have been nicer to me. I was a little intimidated by him, because you know, you've known him for years as well, Deidre, and he has such a big personality, and I was a little nervous to meet him, but he could not have been nicer to me, because I have a big personality as well, but I can be very sensitive as well and a little nervous, and he makes fun of me of how anxious I am all the time. So he was very nice to me, um, and we just had a connection, even on Sunrise, you know, when I was on Sunrise for nearly four years with Chris and Tom and Lee, um, even though Lee was out in the field all the time and I was in the studio, we would chat before the show, we'd chat after the show, and we just became really good friends. And that's when he approached me, probably three years ago now, and was like, I really feel like we could do a great show together. I really, really feel like we, we connect and, you know, we kind of have the same sense of humor. And I just, I just think we could have some fun and we could create a really good show that could be fun for our viewers, too. Um, and so he approached our management and, and he'd apparently been trying to get them to do a show like this for years and years and years because again he is very old. <laughs> um, and they finally said okay so we started Live with Lee and Haley this July. It will, it would have been two years on this show. We started in July of 2017 and it has been the highlight of my career. We have had so much fun like Lee and I can both do hard news. We've done it. You know, it's how we got into this business. But um, this is just, this is who I am. Is I love to entertain. I love to have fun. You know, Lee does as well. We love our viewers. We've built a little family here. We have so many of you that tell us, you record us every day. And, that, and most of you say, like, I can't believe I'm recording a local news show. Because it is <laughs> kind of crazy. But we're so appreciative of that. And we're appreciative of every single one of our viewers. And this has been the highlight of my career, and today is the hardest day of my career. I cannot express to you how truly shocked 
I am at this decision that as we as our manager said it was not taken lightly and was discussed with our corporate office because as we've shared we're under new management um, I just can't express to you how shocked I am and how devastated I am Lee is one of my dearest dearest friends he is a wonderful man he's just He's just so wonderful. He has done nothing but been there for me and helped me through some of my hardest times. He is a friend to everyone at this station, almost annoyingly so. You can't lie to him and say, no, I'm fine, because he'll get to the root of it and he will help you figure out the problem and solve it. To those of you that were offended or hurt by his comments, I will say this, my father always taught me in relationships, it doesn't matter if he would say to me, it doesn't matter if I think it's stupid that your mom's upset. It doesn't matter if I don't know why I offended her or how I offended her. The point is I offended her or I've upset her and I need to make it right. And that's how Lee felt as well. And that's why he apologized the very next day. Because even though you don't intend for your comments to be hurtful, it doesn't mean that they are not. And we heard from you, those that were upset and hurt by his, his unintentional comments. And he apologized because he understood that they were hurtful. I know Lee's heart. I know that he did not mean to hurt anyone. I hate to even use the racist word, but that's what some people are calling him. I've known Lee for five years. As, as anyone that you've heard from here at the station that knows Lee, he has never once showed a racist tendency or even at the very least any racial insensitivity whatsoever. And I stand by Lee and I will stand by him until the hill that I die on because I know him personally. I love him. Everyone at this station loves him. Anyone who knows him knows that he did not mean to offend you. But as I said, it doesn't mean those words didn't hurt. And that's not who he is. And we apologize that we hurt you. And we apologize that you will no longer be able to see Lee on this show. For those of you that support him and, and understand that he did not mean to hurt. I love Lee Cruz so much. Um, I'll be checking on him. and. Making sure he's okay and um, it's going to be all right. Um, stay tuned for the future of the show. We'll, we'll figure all those silly details out later, what we're going to do, um, if we're going to move forward with the show. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm truly devastated and this is, this is uh, a, day, a, a statement I didn't think I'd ever be making. So, um, love you guys. Lovely. This is just very, very unfortunate, very shocking. I'm devastated and... Um, I guess we'll just have to move on and um, I've been doing a lot of praying this week and I know God is still in control and I know that he will see the situation out and good always comes from the bad. You know, God only wants the best for us and we'll figure out what that is and, um, and he will figure out the best for you as well. Um, Deidre, again, I thank you for being here. Absolutely. Um, we are going to take a short break. Deidre is going to... Um, do the rest of our show today. I'm, I probably will see you at the end for a little wrap up, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in today. The show's still gonna go on this week, but as I said, we'll figure out what our path is after that. So thank you so much. Love you guys. Thanks for watching LEX 18, and thanks for being part of our Live with Lee and Haley family. Love you all. Stay with us. We'll be right back.